and I get on the phone and uh, I'm like, yeah, the monologue, the note about uh, every little kid flies, it needs to be every little girl flies. And I believe that the male readership can cross identify for half a second. We've been doing it for our whole, you know, and, and the editor was like, all right. Come on. Cassie King. And I'm Brian Mitchell, and welcome back to another episode of the Skybound Insider. Over the next few weeks, we're going to continue rolling our countless interviews with insanely talented writers, colorists, and artists. This week, we are presenting to you a chat with writer and editor Kelly Sue DeConnick. She has an amazing track record with her creator owned books Bitch Planet and Pretty Deadly. She has also written some notable Marvel and DC titles such as Captain Marvel, Avengers, Supergirl, and many, many others. She has also edited numerous adaptations of manga for the States. Without further ado, here is my conversation with Kelly Sue DeConnick. Hi guys, I'm Cassie King and I'm here with Kelly Sue DeConnick. Uh, and we're we're gonna be talking everything your life, everything you. Yeah. Uh, Kelly Sue is the wonderful writer and creator of Books like Bitch Planet and Pretty Deadly. She's, you know, you are like... Co-creator. 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 Co yes. Sorry. Yeah. But you're like, right. It's all good. We're going to start general, but sure. uh, there's so many things I want to know. Okay. Um, <laughs> can you tell us a little bit how you got your start? Yeah. Um, I, have a, uh, I have a theater degree. Very cool. Um, so I, uh, I intended to be an actor, and writing was something that I kind of did with 19 other jobs, you know, I've done, uh, like, um, uh, let's see, I have been a professional makeup artist, I've been a professional special effects makeup artist, I have been a um, post-operative wound care specialist, um, I have been an events uh, clown, um, uh, <laughs> professional clowning, indeed. I did improv for a long time, um, I sold jewelry at Macy's Herald Square, like I've had every job that you can have, and right um, I was a dresser <laughs> at the New York fashion shows. Wow. Um, so yeah, writing was just sort of another one of like my jobs that I had because um, it was very expensive to live in New York City, which mm -hmm. is where I lived for a very long time. Yeah. And um, and then I kind of discovered that I didn't. I loved performing and I loved theater in particular, but I did not have the personality required. Being lectured by casting directors on my appearance. I had a, a, a man with like stuff glued to his sweatshirt telling me I needed to peruse some fashion magazines. And I was like, no. Nah. Um, I can't do this. Yeah, like, <laughs> um, and, and as a writer, like nobody tells me what I need to wear or look like. I was like. just thinking and you should really peruse some fashion. Yeah, magazines. I know. Sorry. I'm like, <laughs> the thing that I loved doing the most in New York was this group where writers of screenplays, uh, playwrights and uh, screenwriters would come in to this evening. Um, this guy, Seth Kramer, arranged and I think we did it like every other Wednesday or something like that. And they'd bring in chunks of work to be read um, aloud so they, they could hear the actors perform the pieces. And then, um, and then afterwards, there was a talk back session where people would give them feedback to, and critique. Mm -hmm. And I went, I started doing it as an actor. I would go and you know they give out pieces. And, and it was a really, wonderful exercise and um, I enjoy cold readings and it was, it was really great but uh, but I ended up being far more intrigued by questions of structure and plot development and character building and like I, I liked the the writerly right. segment. Mm -hmm. And in fact, some of the actors would leave. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. This is the <laughs> best part. This is the good stuff. Uh, yeah. And um, so that kind of got me interested in writing. I'd done a little bit of writing in college, um, but only like the bare minimum. I mean, you know, like English papers and whatnot. Yeah. But I mean, I'd done a little bit of playwriting. And, um, and so then um, I met Will Rosado. Um, he's a comic book artist mm -hmm. in New York, and I had read comics growing up, but it had never, because I grew up on military bases, oh. and it had never really occurred to me that that was something someone might do for a living. Right. Um, they just and, appear. Yeah. Um, and when I paid attention to who wrote what, mm -hmm. I knew 
men. Mm -hmm. I knew Marv Wolfman, George Perez. Yeah. Um, you know, those yeah, were the, the, the guys. Yeah and, yeah, and I was a huge fan, but it, for some reason you don't, it just didn't occur to me this was something I didn't, I don't know, I didn't know Louise Simonson was working. I didn't know, you, you didn't know? see yourself yeah, and, and then you can't picture that future. Or, yeah. Or, yeah. And so, um, so I met Will and Will was like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a comic book artist. And I was like, oh my God. And he was like, you're the first girl that's ever been impressed <laughs> by that. And um, I was a huge fan of Warren Ellis's series Planetary. And I started hanging out. This was the early days of the internet when everyone was still relatively well behaved. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and I hung out on the Warren Ellis Posting yeah. board, the Warren Ellis Those forum, boards, the, Del yeah. the Delphi forum, um, and there's so many people in my cohort, so many people that I came up with who we all met there and we all started our careers there. We all like did not have aspirations to write comics and then sort of found them there. I met my husband there. Wow. So I met Matt Fraction on the Warren Ellis Poster Board. Um, I met Kieran Gillen. I met Jamie McKelvey. I met Anthony Johnston. Um, uh, Sam Humphreys was on the board. It is ridiculous wow, that how board was many tapped. of us, yes, <laughs> how many of us who were just fans or yeah. cat or like, built our careers mm -hmm. together there. What was your experience at uh, Marvel with like Captain Marvel versus um, working on books that, that you have been a creator or co-creator for? I've been told no a couple times. I've been told no a couple times in retrospect. I think they were right. I've been told no a couple times in retrospect. I know I was right. Mm -hmm. um, but not my circus. You know, I don't get to make those calls. Um, and then sometimes, like, you think you, you're gunning for a fight and you think it's going to be this big deal. Like, um, there, was a, there was a monologue in Captain Marvel that I wrote. Um, <laughs> Have you ever seen a little girl run so fast she falls down? There's a moment when she flies. Right. Um, every little girl flies, right? And I got a note back on it that was like, um, could we make it every little kid flies so we don't alienate the male re readership? And I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> and I'm like geared up for a fight, cracking ready. knuckles. Yeah. Like, all right, let's go. Um, uh, and I get on the phone and uh, I'm like, yeah, the monologue, the note about uh, uh, every little kid flies, it needs to be every little girl flies. And I believe that the male readership can cross identify for half a second. We've been doing it for our whole, you know, and, and the editor was like, all right. I was like, well, all right, now that we have that. I showed you. Yeah. What's up? You had lunch yet? I mean, like, you know, I was just like, oh, well, that, was, that wasn't a problem at all. You know, like, no, it was I hilarious. <laughs> Cassie, that was a great interview. Thank you so much. Wow. If you haven't already, go pick up one of Kelly Sue's books and check out her writing today. Her work continues to speak for itself, and she's showing no signs of letting up. Thank you so much to Kelly Sue for sitting down with us. Thank you to you for watching. Mm -hmm. uh, please remember to like and yeah, comment, huh. subscribe, mm -hmm. and rate, yep. swipe right on these Whoa. videos. Folks, go follow Kelly Sue on Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff. And make sure to follow Skybound to check in for more videos, content, news, all that jazz, and some more comic books as they come out. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Bye. Uh, bye.